I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn all the steps which we should know to draw graph of a derivative from the given graph of the function. So the question here is consider the graph of a function graph its derivative. So what we are given here is f of x the function itself. So what we are going to do here is that from the function we are going to sketch graph of its derivative f dash x, f prime x, whatever you may say. So that is the whole idea. So we have to sketch graph of derivative of a function. That is what the whole thing is. Now what should we know about it? One, nature of the graph. So first thing which we notice here is that the function itself is cubic, right? So we have a cubic function. So if the function is cubic, the derivative should be quadratic. That means one degree lower, right? So here uh, it is kind of, that means degree changes from 3 to 2, right? So one degree lower will be your graph for the derivative. So that is one thing which we should understand. So we have to draw a quadratic function basically which will look like a parabola which should represent the derivative graph for the given cubic function right this is first thing then we have to consider the turning points right so what we have here is turning points are at minus 2 so we are saying turning points so on the function we have turning points at x equals to minus 2 and at x equals to 0 right so these are the two turning points now at the turning point if I draw the engine it is going to be horizontal do you see that so turning points translate to zeros so here it will have zeros on the graph of the derivative right so so basically we can clearly draw these two zeros that is first and foremost so we have got these two zeros and this is what I'm sketching for the derivative graph, okay? Now, then what we should notice is in the graph of the function, interval for increasing. So when is the function increasing? Increasing means if I see it is increasing as we go from this place to this place, correct? Here it is turning point. So it is increasing in this case from minus infinity to minus 2 and it is also increasing from 0 to infinity right so it is also increasing from let me write like this 0 to infinity right now these increasing intervals means positive slope right it means positive slope so positive slope means f dash x is greater than 0 right so in this time f dash x should be greater than 0, right? so increasing intervals. Now you should also consider the decreasing intervals. So decreasing intervals will be what? Between minus 2 and 0. So that is from minus 2 to 0. right? So during this decreasing interval, what do you expect? During decreasing interval, f dash x or the derivative f prime x should be less than 0. So combining all this information, what do we get? We get that on the left side of minus 2, parabola, which is quadratic 2, should be positive. Between minus 2 and 0, it should be negative and thereafter it should be positive. So what we can do is, we can just combine it like this. So this portion is negative, right? So and then it is positive. Is it okay? So that represents the parabola which is the derivative of the given cubic function, right? So I hope these steps clearly inform us the procedure which we should follow to sketch graph of a derivative from the graph of the given function, right? And now you should also remember one thing that is to say that there could be more than one graph. So this is not unique. So this is one possible graph. So we say this is one possible graph, correct? Okay. Now in later chapters, you will also learn 
the significance of concavity change, which I'll tell you at present, but you'll learn later. That is, you see in this graph, concavity changes from concave down to concave up, right, on the graph. That results into the minimum value here, right? So, so that also corresponds. So this information you can always add once you learn this concept, right? So change in concavity. So let me write down here. You may learn later. Anyway, so change in concavity will result in, in I should say, turning point. Turning point. It could be maximum or minimum. In this case, it is concave down to up and therefore it is minimum, right? I hope with these steps, you should be in a good position to sketch uh, the graphs. Thank you and all the best.